In the last video, we did a bunch of saving in different folders, so I'm just going to reset my project folder just to make sure that everything is the way that it should be. So I'll click on Exercise Files, click once on Unit 9 Project Folder, and hit Choose. I'll click on File, and then go to Open Scene, and I'm going to open up CerealBox.mb. Okay. So this cereal box used to be a cube and I scaled it to the correct proportions for a Kashi uh, box of cereal. Uh, you can see over here I've renamed the object. So let's go to our UV texture editor and see how this, this, um, sh the UVs look. So I'm gonna actually going to click right here and I'm going to go to a two panel display. I'm going to get rid of the channel box and move this over. And over here under panels, I'm going to go to panel and then UV texture editor. So let's just click here. Okay. So now if I look at this cereal box and I look over here in the UV texture editor, these two shapes, if you were to unwrap this shape to a flat surface, if you were to tear that box apart and lay it flat on a table, it would not look like this. This is the cube that's been unwrapped. So what has happened is, is I scaled this box up and over here the UVs did not scale when I scaled over here in the panel. So what we have to do is we have to unwrap this again. All right. So make sure that you are on the polygons module over here in the top left corner and then go to create UVs and go to automatic mapping and then go over to the options box. I'm just going to make sure this is reset to the same settings that you have. So by default this should give us exactly what we need. It's going to do a six plane projection. So I'm just going to hit apply and you can see, I'll just close this, you can see over here here's our projections. So it's taking a snapshot of the object from six different angles and it's placing those UVs over here in our UV space. Now this looks like the cereal box that's been unwrapped. It's no longer that cube shape. So this is exactly what we needed. So now what I want to do is I want to sew these pieces back together because they've all been separated. So I'm going to right click on the object and go to object mode. Select the object over here. Now um, over here in the UV texture editor I'm going to right click and go to edge. I'm going to select this edge over here. Now remember you can select edges, you can select vertices, you can select faces, but you cannot move them with your move tool. You can move them over here in the panel, but not in our UV texture editor. When I highlight this edge over here, it also highlights this edge here. These two faces meet up in 3D space right here. Okay, So even though we've separated the UVs in the UV texture editor, in 3D space they meet up. That means that we can move and sew these UVs and reconnect them. So what I'll do is I'm going to hit this button right here, which is going to move and sew this piece over to here. So I'm just going to click on that button. There we have it. We're reconnecting our UVs back into one mesh. I'll select this edge right here and click on move and sew. All right, now I can click on this edge or select this edge and move and sew that. So now I've got all four sides of the shape here. These four, I'll just right click and go to face. You can see I've got these four faces selected and over here they're all connected. They're, they've rejoined. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to edge and now we just need to sew these two pieces, the top and the bottom. So I'm going to select this edge right here and go to move and sew and this edge right here, move and sew. So now what I want to do is I want to bring this um, mesh over into my UV space right over here. 
So I'm going to right click and go to UV and then let go. I'm going to click and select. So I'm going to drag a box around everything. Okay, I've got all my UVs selected here. Now, if I hit W, I can move in the UV texture editor. Okay, so I'm just going to place this inside this dark gray square. Okay. So I'm going to right click in my panel and go to object mode. Select the object. It's important that your object is selected when you export your UVs. Okay. So I'm going to go to polygons and then go down to UV snapshot. And let's bump this up to 2048. Now I might change the size here. I don't remember how large the images are for the serial box, but for now we'll start at 2048. So over here in my file name, I'm going to click and use the arrows on my keyboard. And it's this is going to be serial box out UV. Okay. So there's our file name. Make sure our image format is set to Photoshop and then I'll hit OK. All right, so now I'm going to, I'll minimize Maya, so I'll go to hide Maya right here and then I'll bring up Photoshop. Here's my dye pattern from the last session. I'll close that. And I'm gonna go to File and then go down to Open. And I'll go from Source Images. I'm gonna click on the Unit 9 Project folder. Okay, if it's not showing up over there, you can always go to Exercise Files and then double click on Unit 9 Project Folder. And then I'm gonna go to Images. So here I have Serial Box Out UVs .ps. So I'll hit Open right here. So here's my UVs. I'm going to double click over here on the background layer. And we'll just call this UVs. And I'll hit OK. And I'm going to create a new layer. So down here in the bottom of the layer editor here, I'll create that new layer. I'll double click on layer one and we'll call this BG for background. And I'll drag this below the UV layer. And I'll just go to my color picker here, choose a gray color. And then I'll choose my paint bucket right here. And then I'll fill this with gray. As in the last video, you fill it with gray, you don't see anything. We need to go to the UVs layer, go to image, and then adjustments, and then go to invert. Okay. And then from here, with the UV layer selected, I'll go to normal or the drop down for the different styles of layers, and I'll go to multiply. Now we can see our background color. So I'm going to click on the background layer and I'm going to create a new layer. And we'll just leave that blank. Now I'm going to go to File and then go to Open. And I'm going to go to the Unit 9 project folder, double click on Source Images. And then I'm going to try and, oh, here we go, serial front. So we need to open up these different um, images for our serial box. So I'll just hit open. So here is the front of the serial box. So I'm going to take my marquee tool right here and I'm going to click and drag and select the front of this box. Now I'm going to cut off a little bit of the image here because if I drag all the way to the bottom corner if you look up here there's a little bit of carpet in the in the frame there so just you can crop it a little bit so I'm just gonna crop just so I'm making sure that my selection is only getting that serial box okay so I'll go to image and then crop right here 
and I'll just resize this image a little bit and I can see here I've got just the front of the cereal box there's no carpet in there so that's good I'm gonna go to image adjustments and then go to auto levels and that just brightens it up a little bit now I'm gonna take my move tool and I'm just gonna move this from the cereal front image to the out the cereal box out UV so I'll just drag this over and as you can see as I thought before the image is not large enough so I'm gonna hit command Z to undo or let's see I'll go to my history right here go back and I'm gonna click on the cereal box um, UVs right here I'll go to image and then I'll go to image size and I thought it might be too large so we're gonna change this to 1024 by 1024 and then hit OK. Alright, I'm going to hide my history. I've got my move tool selected. I'm going to take the cereal box and let's try that again. Drag it over. So now I can fit this in inside these lines here. So let me just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to hold down the shift key and click and drag on the corner to resize this and then I'm gonna move this and try and place it and I didn't quite get the proportions right on that cereal box um, but that's okay we're not gonna worry about that that's it. so I'm just gonna press return to finish the the, um, the transform and you know I think I can scale this a little bit more so let me hit command T and try and get this a little bit better a little bit more accurate here All right, so I'll just take my. Um, we'll leave this alone for now. We'll crop it later. All right, so let's go to File, Open, and let's open up Serial Back. Let's do the back side. Take my um, Marquee tool, and we'll just select. part of the back here and I know that's why because I'm tr cropping this a little bit that's why it's not quite fitting in the UVs over here so that's okay we'll just go to image and then crop and I'll take this and move it over And we'll just move this to the back side here. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click on this corner to resize this. Pretty close. I'll press return. Okay. Uh, let's go to File, Open. Actually, you know what? Let's close. Let's close these. We don't need to save them. And let's open up. So we did the back, we did the front. Let's do the bottom. All right, so right here, this is a kind of at an angle. So I need to grab my ruler tool. Um, yeah, so if you click on the eyedropper tool, you can switch to the ruler. And I'm going to take, there's a little crosshair, there's a little 
little little target here. I'm going to click on the edge, like right in the corner, and I'm just going to try and line up this ruler with the edge of the top or the bottom of this box here. Okay, so that's just going to give me a measurement. I'm going to go to Image, uh, Rotate Canvas, and then go to Arbitrary. And that ruler angle that I just measured is 1.93 degrees. So I'm just going to take that and hit OK. And you can see now that has rotated uh, my box. So now it is perfectly horizontal. I'll take my selection tool and I'm going to just crop out all the carpet stuff so we just have the bottom of the box. So I'll go to image and then crop. And let's see here. I'll go to image adjustments, auto levels to bring up. Didn't really give us anything there. I don't want to mess with the. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on that kind of stuff. We're trying to focus on creating this map here. So I'm going to hit shift, hold down shift, and resize this. Okay, so I'm going to use the arrows on the keyboard because I'm not, let's see, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to use the arrows on the keyboard to line this up as best I can. Got a little bit of bleeding on the edges here, it's going over, that's okay. I'll just scoot over a little bit this way, yeah. And I'll press return to finish the transform. And let's zoom back out. Okay. Let's close this. Don't save it. I'll go to File, Open. And I'm going to open up, do the side. So let me just really quick marquee select the side here. It looks like we don't need to rotate this. That's good. So I'll go to image crop. Take my move tool and let's move this over. And let's see here. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use the arrow keys, try and line this up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit return. And then I'm going to take my marquee tool here. I just want to zoom out a tiny bit. Oh, I cut off the top up here. So let's hit, I'll hit Command T again, and I'll just bring that down a little bit. Press return. And I'm going to take my marquee tool here and just see if I can crop the edge here. There we go. All right, let's go to File, Open. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to click and drag a marquee around all this. Image crop. Take my Move tool and move it over. So if you look over here in the layer editor, we're getting a new layer for all this stuff, and I should be naming this. But I want to make this video as short as possible, so I'm going to just focus on getting these pieces in the right area. 
All right, so I'm going to hit return to finish that transform and then press the arrow keys. And it looks like that's pretty close. All right, one more piece. Let's go to File, Open, and I'll go to Serial, Top. And let's take our ruler tool and measure this. I might need to rotate it. I think so. So we'll go to Image, Rotate Canvas, and then go to Arbitrary. And we're going to rotate it 0.43 degrees. And I'll take my marquee and we'll crop this. That looks good. Take my move tool. I'll move this over here. And I'll hold down the shift key and click on the corner. And I'll just resize this and move it. And resize again. Press return. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go to File, Save. We're going to save our serial box out UVs. So, got my maximum compatibility turned on. Hit OK. And then I'm going to click on this little visibility icon for the UVs to turn that off. So we just have the, the texture here. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and not in Images. We're going to go to Unit 9 project folder, double click on source images, and we'll call this. See, well, first I'm going to change this to a JPEG, and this will be serial color map dot JPEG. So I'll hit save. Quality 9, that's okay, just that's fine. Alright, let's go to, I'm going to leave leave this open but I'm gonna hide Photoshop and we're gonna go back to Maya and I'll go to window rendering editors and then hypershade I'll create a new Lambert double click on Lambert 2 and we'll name this serial mat over here on the color channel or attribute, I'll just click right here to map a file to that color channel. And then over here on image name, I'm going to click on the folder icon. And that's going to bring up my source images folder for unit 9. So, serial color map, that's what we're looking for. So I'll hit open. So here it is. I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and drag this material onto the object in the scene. And I'll close the hypershade. And here we've got our serial box. And we've got the images on all the different sides. So make sure that you save your work before you quit Maya and make sure that you render out an image of this to send to the Dropbox.